you know that pulleys are used to lift up heavier loads and it uh, allows us to apply the effort in a convenient direction but there can be time when a single pulley is not sufficient to lift up heavy loads so in that case we combine many different pulleys together to form a combination of pulley you know that in a combination of pulley system a single fixed pulley can help you to apply the effort in a convenient direction whereas the movable pulley allows you to lift up heavier loads so what if we combine a lot of movable pulley together with a single fixed pulley in that case you get something like this where you have a single fixed pulley which is combined to three different movable pulley and each movable pulley is attached with a different string so here this pulley that is d is a fixed pulley whereas a b and c are movable pulley now see in this diagram the three movable pulleys are attached to different string and we know that tension in one string is same but it is different for different strings so each of this uh, movable pulleys that is a b and c are supported by different strings hence the tension in their strings will be different so let us consider in equilibrium the pulley a is balancing this load that is the tension in these strings is balancing the load and we can name the tension as t1 so the load is being supported by two tension t1 plus t1 which is equal to 2 t1 so the load is being balanced by both these tensions on the string which is attached to a uh, movable pulley a so load can be written as equal to 2 t1 or t1 can be written as equal to l by 2 so t1 is equal to l by 2 in this case so both these tension is supporting the movable pulley a so both the tension on the string which is attached to b is supporting a so we can write as okay so we can write as t2 plus t2 is equal to t1 which because it is supporting this tension t1 so 2 t2 is equal to t1 or t2 can be written as t1 by 2 now previously we learned that t1 is equal to half the load that is l by 2 so so substituting this value in this expression we can write t2 is equal to l by 2 into 2 or t2 can be written as l by 2 square so the tension which is being supported by t1 that is t2 on both these segments is equal to l by 2 square now what about pulley system c here this pulley is being supported by two tension on both these strings let the tension be written as t3 so two tension is acting on the string which is being attached to c so 2t3 nahi okay so both these tension t3 plus t3 is balancing t2 so so both the t3s on the strings which is supporting this pulley c can be written as equal to t2 that is this string so t3 plus t3 is equal to t2 or twice t3 is equal to t2 now in the previous slide we have learned that that t2 is equal to load by 2 square so substituting this value in this expression we can write as t3 is equal to load by 2 into 2 into 2 or load by 2 cube so both these tension can be written as equal to l by 2 cube now notice one thing this tension that is on this particular string segment is also transferring the tension on this string that is which is supporting the effort so the string which is attached to 
fixed pulley D is also experiencing a tension T3. So here we can write that effort is equal to T3. See, effort is equal to T3 or T3. Effort is equal to T3 and previously we have calculated that T3 is equal to load by 2Q. So effort can be written as load by 2Q. So what about the mechanical advantage? So mechanical advantage can be written as MA is equal to load which is L divided by the effort which we have just calculated to be L by 2 cube. Therefore, the mechanical advantage would be 2 cube. So, the mechanical advantage of a combination of pulley in which you have three movable pulleys with one single fixed pulley, the mechanical advantage is equal to 2 cube. So, notice one thing that the number of movable pulley in this combination is 3. We have 3 movable pulleys and the mechanical advantage that we have found out is equal to 2 cube. That is, if we have n number of movable pulley with one fixed pulley, the mechanical advantage would be equal to 2 to the power n, where n denotes the number of movable pulley in this combination. Now to find out how much efficient is this combination of pulleys, we need to find out the efficiency of this combination. So efficiency you know is mechanical advantage by the velocity ratio and we have found out the mechanical advantage to be 2 to the power n where n denotes the number of movable pulleys. So what about the velocity ratio? Now to find out the velocity ratio, we know it is the uh, ratio of the displacement of effort to the displacement of load. So for this we need to find out how much the effort is moving in order to move the load. So if we consider that the load moves a distance of y, that is load moves a distance of y, then this movable pulley that is A moves twice the distance because it is connected by two strings. So this would move 2y. The second movable pulley that is B, this would move twice this distance because it is connected by two more strings. So it should move 4y because 2 into 2y is 4y. Now similarly for this movable pulley C, it is again connected by two more strings. So even this would move twice the distance 4y that is 2 into 4y or 8y and this can also be written as 2 cube y which is again equal to 2 which is again equal to 8y. So c moves a distance of 8y. Now as I had told you that the tension on this string is transferred to the string which is connected by d the free end of the string. So even this distance can be written as 8y that is effort is moving a distance of 8y in order to move the load. So the effort moves by a distance of 2 cube y which is equal to 8y. And since the load moves a distance of y now we can easily calculate the velocity ratio that is the, the displacement of the effort that is 2 cube y divided by the distance moved by the load that is y. So the velocity ratio will be 2 cube. So from this you can notice that since we have three movable pulley in this combination the velocity ratio is 2 cube that is 2 to the power 3. Therefore if we have n number of movable pulley combined with a single fixed pulley then the velocity ratio would be 2 to the power n where n denotes the number of movable pulley in this combination. So coming back to efficiency, 
efficiency eta is mechanical advantage divided by the velocity ratio and we have just now calculated the mechanical advantage and the velocity ratio to be 2 to the power n when there are n number of movable pulleys combined with one single fixed pulley. So in that case the efficiency would be 2 to the power n divided by 2 to the power n which is equal to 1. But efficiency is equal to 1 is only true in case of ideal machines in which the friction, the mass of the pulleys and the mass of the string is taken to be negligible. But in reality the efficiency is usually less than 1.